It's a miracle yeah. these movies got made. I mean, it's just, you don't fire a director unless he's really done some horrible thing. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for another top 10 production nightmares. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're considering everything from a director's penchant for perfectionism, to overbearing studios, to inclement weather as reasons for disastrous productions. Far's done. If you don't see a title famous for its mishaps on this list, check out our other list of movie production nightmares. Am I gonna walk around and rip your lights down in the middle of a scene? Those are Christmas lights. I put them up to make everyone happy. Number 10, American Graffiti. Hey, what do you say, Kurt? Last night in town, you guys gonna have a little bash before you leave? Told over the course of a single night, this classic high school drama slash comedy follows a group of teenagers on their last hurrah of summer vacation. But that can't be your car, it must be your mama's car. However, the shenanigans were not limited to the film itself. Development hit numerous snags along the way. In true 70s fashion, one of the members of the crew was arrested for growing marijuana. According to unspecified sources, actors Harrison Ford, Bo Hopkins, and Paul Lamatt were allegedly drunk almost every evening, which would account for Ford getting kicked out of his motel. At another point, someone set fire to George Lucas's motel room. Yikes. Well, get bent, turkey. <laughs> Number nine, Troy. Imagine a king who fights his own battles. Wouldn't that be a sight? It seems Wolfgang Peterson's interpretation of Homer's epic poem angered the gods because it braved lackluster reviews by critics as well as its fair share of hardships while being made. Do you know what's there? Waiting beyond that beach. Immortality! In a twist of irony, Brad Pitt, who played the legendary Achilles, actually tore his Achilles tendon while filming. Then a hurricane laid waste to the wall of Troy set right as they were intending to shoot scenes in front of it. Filmmakers had no choice but to rebuild the entire thing. Afterwards, several security guards were detained for stealing from set, claiming that their paychecks had been halted after the hurricane. Number 8. Blade Runner Hailed as one of the finest sci-fi movies ever made, this masterpiece was based on Philip K. Dick's novel, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? The film went through various screenplays and directors before Ridley Scott finally got on board, but the trouble was far from over. It's fair to say that Harrison and I were nearly always quarreling. Both star Harrison Ford and Scott admit to a rather contentious relationship during production, but the actor wasn't the only one with qualms. Because of how hands-on Scott was, he found himself at odds with the crew, who even started a t-shirt war by donning shirts saying, yes, governor, my ass, wanting to voice their displeasure with the English director's approach. All those moments will be lost in time. Number seven, The Conqueror. I share your taste in women, Target Ty, but not in blood. This flop was controversial because in it, Western legend John Wayne, an Iowa native, played Mongolian emperor Genghis Khan. The movie had more bad press as a result of its shoots near a nuclear test site. After the government stated that everything was fine, the production carried on, but it became clear when 91 cast and crew members eventually developed cancer that it wasn't a coincidence. For while I have fingers to grasp a sword and eyes to see, your treacherous head is not safe on your shoulders. 46 people, including director John Powell, actress Susan Hayward, and even John Wayne himself, all died of cancer in the following years. Actor Pedro Armendariz committed suicide after being diagnosed with terminal cancer, and actress Agnes Moorhead reportedly said shortly before her death that she should have never taken her role. You return empty-handed from the chase, my son. Number six, Fantastic Four, AKA Fat Four Stick. Always so smug, thinking you were smarter than me. This superhero flick was a fantastic failure, but it was doomed from the beginning. Director Josh Trank was extremely promising, but several reports started to come out claiming he bullied Kate Mara during filmmaking. I am not going to be a tool. Trank's confrontational attitude affected his relationship with both the studio and his cast, and 20th Century Fox did not like his take on the film. Don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Producers ended up entirely rewriting Trank's ending, 
but needed stand-ins for shooting since the actors were all busy with other projects. Trank tweeted his displeasure with the released version of the film, and it's thought he hurt his reputation so much that he lost his job doing a Star Wars movie as a result. If this world must die, so that mine may live, so be it. Number 5. Heaven's Gate It's getting dangerous to be poor in this country, isn't it? From the director who brought us The Deer Hunter came this sprawling western taking place in 1890s Wyoming, and it kinda sucked. Since Michael Cimino had impressed everyone with his five Oscar winning film, he was given complete creative freedom. Oops. It's beautiful. <laughs> it belongs in a museum. A stickler for authenticity, Cimino had many of his sets destroyed and rebuilt, costing the studio millions of dollars. What's more, the production was accused of cruelty to animals. Chimino's career was all but destroyed following this disastrous development process, turning him into another of Hollywood's many one-hit wonders. The ordeal also meant that studios started to exercise more control over directors, way to ruin it for everyone. If we fail, the flag of the United States fails. Number 4. Alien 3 We give you thanks, O oh Lord. The wrath has come and the time is near for us to be judged. After escaping the Sulaco, Ripley crashes on a maximum security prison planet, but soon realizes she didn't come alone. Multiple directors were attached to this movie before newcomer David Fincher was brought on. The script had already gone through multiple rewrites, and changes were still being made during shooting. I'm telling you I want to die! We got a deal! Remember? It dies first, then you! Fincher arrived to a crippled budget and a set designed for an entirely different story involving a wooden planet populated by monks. With no time to pick up the pieces and execs breathing down his neck to make the release date, Fincher ultimately disowned this installment of the Alien Quadrilogy. That's a bit uncharitable. Number 3. The Shining Here's Johnny! Ah! This tale of supernatural possession is regarded as one of the most celebrated horror movies in cinema, but its actors barely made it out in one piece. Stanley Kubrick was a notoriously difficult director to work with, making changes to the script daily and demanding repetitive takes. Give me the bag. Please! Give me! Give me the bag. Stop it! The scene wherein Wendy backs up the stairs swinging a baseball bat reportedly required 127 takes and holds the Guinness record for the most takes of a single scene with dialogue. However, members of the crew contest this statement, saying it was actually around 35 to 45. Either way, both lead actors consider their roles the hardest of their careers, with Shelley Duvall even suffering from hair loss due to stress. Come on, don't oh, worry. Gotta shut up anyway now, boys. Let's go, come on, Sean. Get the dummy. Number two, The Revenant. My head was that boy. And he took him from me. This beautifully shot film chronicles a frontiersman's tale of survival. Director Alejandro Iñárritu wanted to shoot on location in Alberta, Canada to properly convey the sheer desperation of the characters dealing with their environment. However, Alberta was hit with record high temperatures that year, melting most of the snow. Production was ultimately moved to Argentina to complete filming in a suitable environment. <laughs> Several production members either got fired or quit as a result of how challenging filming was. But the actors didn't have it any easier. Leonardo DiCaprio recalled the challenges he faced, including braving frozen rivers, sleeping in dead animals, and risking hypothermia. But at least he finally got his Oscar, right? I ain't afraid to die anymore. I'm done it already. Before we get to our top pick, here's an honorable mention. Coming over the top! <laughs> Number one, The Abyss. Well, hell, son, you better get a line down to us. We're in moderately poor shape down here. James Cameron's underwater sci fi extravaganza following a deep sea drilling crew that stumbles across an aquatic alien species did hit some rough waters. In order to shoot the film, multiple tanks were made needing a combined 10 million gallons of water to fill, with plastic beads used to cut out light and simulate the extreme depths. We used beads instead of something laying in the water because uh, of the safety factor. We had to be able to surface at any moment if we had a problem, especially diving with actors. To achieve Cameron's vision, the production team and actors had to brave 70-hour work weeks 
and often risked their lives since underwater films were new territory. Look, this is not an option, so just forget about Look, it, just right? shut up! Several members of the cast, including stars Ed Harris and Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio, experienced emotional breakdowns due to exhaustion. Traumatized by the whole ordeal, Harris actually refused to talk about the movie for years. Fight! 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 Right now! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.